Today, we will learn how to filter datasets in RStudio using the Iris dataset. Filtering in RStudio is incredibly important because it allows us to analyze specific data points that have similar characteristics. Whichever characteristic that you filter will give you a new dataset contained of only data points that you have filtered. Filtering in RStudio can allow us to discover characteristics of both the specific data points and the general data set as a whole. Before we learn how to filter data sets, we need to import the function dplyr. There are many packages in RStudio that serve a variety of purposes, but not all of them are readily available. dplyr is a package in R that helps for easier data cleaning and filtering. This is similar to how ggplot2 allows for easier plotting. To install dplyr, click on the Packages tab on the right side of your screen next to Plots and Help, right here. Once you click on Packages, click the Install button at the top left corner of the menu, which is right here. A pop-up menu will appear on your screen. In the Packages bar, which is this bar in the middle, type dplyr. DPLYR. Then hit install. Once you hit install, the package will be downloaded into your RStudio. Then, in the user library, check the checkbox next to DPLYR. Now, to add DPLYR into your R script, you will write library in parentheses dplyr, then hit run. Now we can start filtering your dataset. First, we need to create our future filtered dataset. Since I want to filter all other species of iris except Setosa, I will write Setosa, the name of my future dataset equals iris, the data set where the variable comes from, then percent greater than percent. Percent greater than percent is known as a forward pipe operator. The forward pipe operator tells R that the next line of code must be run immediately after the first in a block. This is because it takes the first line as a type of subject or argument for the second. To filter a data set, we will use the filter function. On the next line, write filter in parentheses, the name of the variable that you are filtering. Mine is species equals equals in parentheses, setosa the variable that we want to keep in our new data set. Now, when you run the first line, you will see that both lines of code will run because of the forward pipe operator. This will create a new data set. Mine is called Setosa. You can find this in the environment tab in the top right corner of the screen next to history. You will see the new dataset Setosa under data. When you click on the dataset, you will see that every data point has a species of Setosa. This is different to Iris, where there are three types of species Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginica. Now, we know how to install DPLYR and filter datasets in RStudio. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.